What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to do a quick little eight minute with Neek, y'all. And I just really want to talk to y'all about Krishan following Blueface last night. And I know a lot of y'all probably think that this shit is petty. Like, ah, that shit petty. That ain't nothing. Who cares? You just follow them. Nigga, that's a problem. I'm going to tell y'all why. Krishan did not go to her Houston show. Uh, why she didn't go to her Houston show, we don't necessarily know yet because she didn't go live and say that yet. And if she did, please send me that live. But last night, Krishan was following Blueface on Instagram and on Twitter. I'm going to tell y'all why this is a problem. Because it's given she was with Blueface, and it's given that her, his ass did this shit. I believe he did it. Now, a, a lot of y'all be thinking that I'm being biased with Krishan. Bro, no, I'm being honest. And this is what I mean. Krishan be with Blue, and that nigga gets in her phone. That's just the truth. He gets into her phone. She be knocked the hell out. He get into that damn phone. And then he get the following niggas. Remember, this is his circus. And he owns the clowns in it. All right? Krishan would be one of them. Sorry, y'all. Some days she gonna be a clown. Some days she gonna be the leader of the circus. You know what I'm saying? Then she give him back the baton. Just like how T.I. Chocolate said. What she, hold on. I gotta find it. I wanna... <laughs> this shit was funny as hell. What she said was... <laughs> Oh my gosh, Krishan is following Blueface on Twitter. This should send you guys over the edge as if she didn't just do this to him and now he's getting his lick back. Buckle up. You knew this was a roller coaster when you got on. Hello? So I'm I want y'all to be just as logical as me. You get what I'm saying? And uh share. Share something so I can be just as logical with you. I absolutely feel as though Blueface ass went to Vegas. For one, he went to Vegas when she went to Vegas. What the fuck is wrong with you, gay? <laughs> like, she can't even go do her own show. I feel like he went to Vegas when she went to Vegas because he knew she would want some of that dick. Okay, let's just talk about it. She would want to pull up to that nigga, whether it be to get the meat or to say, why the hell you ain't taking care of your son? That, that he is getting something out of that, okay? So I feel like that was his whole reason to go to Vegas. And also I feel like his reason to go to Vegas was to fuck up that next show that she had coming up. I think that that shit is crazy, but I believe it's some truth up in that shit right there, okay? Because it just seems like every time he mess up her mood, she fuck up the next show. Why? Why well, miss out on them thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars? <laughs> I would never understand that shit. Also, why follow Blueface? Follow Petey and then follow Blueface. Why? Something is in the water. Case Wave over there trying to get her security in. <laughs> Make sure she in Airbnbs and looking out for her. I think I think Quake Case Wave dropping a little bag on Krishan. But like, I'll never understand what she is doing with this here. I'll never understand. I'm not understanding what's going on at all, actually. Y'all help me. Help me. Okay? I want to know what y'all think about this shit down in the comment section below real bad. Because it's like, bro. Randomly just followed him. Every time that happens, she come live and say, this nigga took my phone last night and got to following himself and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what was the reason this time? Y'all think on that. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. So, y'all, I'm going to give y'all a few videos. You dig what I'm saying? Um... Of course, it's New Year's today, my sister's birthday, so it's a lot going on. But I'm going to make sure we get y'all straight. Now, <clears throat> the first video we're going to get into is Jason Lee speaks on Krishan, Blueface, Cardi being offset. Yeah, they got a lot going on. And for some reason, Krishan followed Blueface last night. 
Oh, and this nigga got a lot going on, but we're going to talk about all of these things, okay? But I want to get into Jason Lee first. See what this Leo talking about. John and Cardi are moving on. But when we, tip, when we first made this post, I think that a lot has transpired that even makes this topic in title very complicated. Krishan and Cardi have both ended relationships with the man they were with. Now, Krishan's is... Allegedly. Because it's on and off. Every moment of every day. Just today. Uh -huh. Okay? But Cardi seems to now be over her relationship with her husband, Offset. Now, uh, it's right before Christmas, and we know that in the midst of everything going on, they both got roped up into allegations. And it's very unique because... Blueface and Krishan have their thing going on where Krishan has covered up the blue face tattoo. But now the internet is swirling with rumors. It's not swirling with rumors. Blueface put it out that Krishan slept with Offset. Uh -huh. The Tatiana rapper burnt the internet down. And in his attempts to go after his girl and alleged baby mother who every other day he is or is not having a baby <coughs> by the girl here. Okay. He now has dragged them into it. And although she was already on her way out of the marriage, she now is out because of all of this. Now, I will start with a disclaimer. I have talked to Cardi probably every day as a friend because that's what friends do. I will not share our personal conversations here because I didn't talk to her as Cardi B. Well, that's just condescending as hell. We didn't even need to know that. Because now whatever he's going to say is going to be biased anyway. So, okay. I talked to her as my bitch. Okay, this is my girl. This is my sis right here. And so I'm not going to go out and tell our personal business, but I've been checking on her as a friend. And I will say, she's doing fine. Okay. Let's start with that. This is a strong woman here. She's a strong mother. She's going to be fine. This is an unfortunate situation. And I have to tell you, it's just messy. And when you know all four people, and I don't consider all four friends, this is my friend. I knew it. I have a relationship with these two. You know, I was in love with this one. <laughs> And I know I've said, but we're not friends. We're cool. I don't think he likes me, and that's okay. He unfollowed us. We unfollowed him back. It's fine. What? I don't yeah, know that. It, he I loves don't. You. No, we're, done. we're not going to play around. Okay. This is my friend. This is her man. That's Blue. And that's Krishan, who I, you know, have. I do care about Krishan, too. Uh -huh. But all of this is just a lot. It's all a lot. And I have a job to do, so here we are. Okay. Now, Krishan okay. got the blue face tattoo covered up. Let me show you a photo of the before and after of her neck. Remember she had blue there staring us down in the middle of her interview? Mm -hmm. Now there's a rose. She even got her new boyfriend, K. Suave, tattoo. Let me show you a picture of that. Nothing like breaking up with one guy and covering up his name or face to go and put another one on your body. Crazy as hell. Now... Well, I think that's just ludicrous and no disrespect to the rapper in Atlanta. Krishan uh, <laughs> continues to pour all her energy into a man. Meanwhile, Krishan Jr. sits nearby crying and upset. Now that was shady as fuck. You can really tell when some niggas is trying to get some views. That's kind of crazy that he just said that. That's cr okay. Blueface caught wind of this and all the things went left as he accused Krishan of having sex with, I'm going to say allegedly. Allegedly. Having sex with Offset. Who saw that in the bingo cards? That Offset and Blueface would be in a crossroad over Krishan Rock. Girl, that shit ain't true. Let me show you a photo of Blueface speaking on Krishan and Offset. 
He said, finally, six more to go. LOL, get all that up off of you, please, respectfully. Being tatted on a hoe is not a flex. You literally f***ed Cardi B's husband a couple weeks ago. I'm tired of niggas looking at me while they f*** you. Damn. That nigga got a nasty mouth on him. <laughs> that damn blue face so nasty. <sighs> Why? <clears throat> Why? 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 I've said this so many times. The internet right now is such a dangerous, reckless highway Thanks. where everybody's crashing into everybody. Here's what Offset said immediately in response to the allegation. He said, I ain't never talk or touch that lady. Real talk, man. You need some help. But nobody bought it. Everybody believed it. The problem is Offset was already a hoe. So a hoe denying what he's doing or what he's been doing, nobody's going to fucking believe that. Um, but I don't believe that Krishan had sex with damn Offset. I, I don't believe it. I feel like um, we would have known. She don't hold water for real. Soon as something happens, she's ready to talk about it. And having sex with Offset, like whether it be good or bad, she would be ready to talk about it. I don't believe that shit. Everybody believes it. like he believe it because he's biased because he's friends with Cardi B. And people on social media started dragging him, dragging. It just was a lot. Now, Krishan also denied Blue's claims and then said that she found gay allegedly, allegedly. in Blueface's search history. This is a photo of Krishan on offsets of the affair with offset, alleged affair with offset and Blueface's gay she said, you just crashing out, making up shit. Let's talk about how I saw gay porn in your recent search history. That's why I honestly got the cover up, bro. I had a zesty nigga on my neck. Nothing wrong with being bisexual. Just let a bitch know before she fall in love, you weirdo. You over there trying to crack Italy, chop a baby mama. She dubbed you. You got no riz, my boy. Now, here's where I don't believe that he has gay porn on his phone. Because as many times as I done told Blue I'm attracted to him, I'm as crazy, my crush, this, that, whatever, he ain't once popped off and tried to get at me. And I think I'm damn cute. That is such a Leo thing to say, Jason. <laughs> that don't mean you his type just because he like to look at gay porn, allegedly. <clears throat> that wouldn't mean that you're his type. That's crazy. He's so crazy. That was an outlandish statement. Mm -hmm. And if I was Blue... He didn't budge, though. I would have budged. That's crazy. But he did So this is why I, I don't believe... absolutely not budge on Jason Lee, not because you're not attractive, because you're going to tell everybody. No. Hell no. That, and I believe that when certain people get mad at their man or their woman, they say the most outlandish things, and that's mm -hmm. the stuff that you know is going to get the internet going. If you remember on my show, I actually commended Blueface for having the ability to have a mm -hmm. good relationship with a gay man, an openly gay man like me, and be able to have conversations about not telling his son, asking his son if he's gay or not being uncomfortable with a gay man. And he's done a great job in doing that, you know, despite the fact that he's a very toxic man in the relationship with this girl. And he believes that I'm now a part of this circus that he's creating. He always tells me you're a part of my circus. But in everyone's defense, I feel like everyone, let me just interject real quick, was saying like, Jason stays in the middle of it. And I can be the witness. We were at church praising the Lord on a Sunday and then these popped up, these tweets. Well, not only that, that every time they do anything, I get tagged in it. Blueface's mm -hmm. team wants me to, team meaning the fan. He made himself a part of it, just like I made myself a part of it. Except he got to interview them. So he knew what he was doing. Fans want me to go say something to Krishan. Krishan's team wants her fans want me to go say something to him. And then Carlissa's in the thing posting that I should mediate. I don't want to be in the group chat. I do interviews when they want to talk and that's fine. But this has gone too far. Krishan later went live to continue alleging that Blueface is in the gay. Take a look. Let's talk about what I What doesn't make sense is if you thought he was gay, why are you still having sex with him? What? I agree with that. Why are you still hooking up with him? Why are you still having moments with him? It's just not making sense to me. Now, Blueface, of course, denied the gay claims because that's what you do. This is what he said. Now I can't. Now I watch gay. That's the best you could come up with, Cap. Uh, I can sit here all day long and go through. He said, she said this. That. I mean, because I feel like right now we're in a matrix in this twilight zone of a thing called Krishan and Blueface that we all want to get out. This shit is Jumanji. Life is Jumanji right now. I have been sick for two weeks. Why? 
And not first it started with headaches and then body aches and then um coughing and mucus. Just a whole lot of mucus. Bro, we are in the game of Jumanji. Y'all better have fun while it's lasting. Because I'm trying to tell you, some shit is about to hit the fan. Nada, but we can't. Now, despite both Krishan and Offset denying the allegation that they hooked up, Blueface dropped a date and time that the alleged encounter happened. This is what he said on social media. He said, so you ain't f Cardi's husband, November 10th at 4 a.m. at the house in L.A. I'm making this up. Try to keep your secret, but you keep popping in on these apps. I'm only stating facts every time. Now, I don't know if there's security cameras, which... That's the thing about homes like my home, anything and everything that's ever happened in my home, in public views, is recorded. <laughs> I just recently had to go back a year to go pull a camera, a, a receipt of something a year ago that I wanted to be able to look at for my own. And it's like, it's still there. So it's almost like, how does he know these things? And you know, I will say if Offset did that, that's there's no lower than that. And I'm not saying it's because of Krishan. I'm saying because you've you've had repeated allegations of cheating on your wife. You've embarrassed her several times. You've made up with her several times. You even kicked drugs. Do y'all believe this shit? Do y'all believe that Krishan had sex with Offset? I absolutely do not believe that shit. And I could be dead ass wrong. But Krishan ain't even brought it up again. Like... You know, when something bothering her, she tells on herself real bad. You know what I'm saying? So, I, just, I don't believe this. I, I really don't. She would have been like, in that offset thing, and would have got the stuttering, and we would have known she was lying. She ain't even brought it up. <laughs> and got your life together in order to keep your marriage intact. Had another ch and then still allegedly... Allegedly. Cheated with Krishan, Blueface's alleged baby mama. Allegedly. Today it's not, but tomorrow it will be. So it's all bad. Now, Blueface goes on and gets into a whole beef with Soulja Boy. And they go viral, going after each other, wanting to pull up and meet up with each other. During his beef with Soulja Boy, Soulja told him that basically he did some police shit. And Blueface doubled down and explained why he did it. Take a look. Why you crying about Offset just f You wanna know why I did that? Why you do that? Cause the bitch get on here popping it. Making up lies. I'm gay, I'm this. I'm trying to do this. Okay, you wanna pop it, bitch? So I know the truth. Nigga, that's police shit, nigga. How? So, How so dick you, so you police snitch, shit? So you snitching now? So you a snitch now? I think I thought a you snitch is a snitch. He talking about only snitches the police. No, a snitch is a snitch. You could only snitch to the pop, to the cops, soldier. So you okay? So you just hop. So you just hop out. You just say. I you thought say you could only snitch to the police, soldier. So so long as they call the police, you, 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 you just run around telling niggas business. That's what you do, huh? Blue nah, Blue. I'm running around. Anybody wanna wanna join the blue face circus? They they're indulging in my business. You you sound. We're like gonna you use you, soldier. You sound, we're gonna use you. Offset nigga, wanted I ain't to no be used. Me, nigga. Offset I run this shit, wanted. Nigga. I listen, started this shit, nigga. You want to talk about Offset, you, right? Nigga, you's a buster, listen, nigga. Fuck you talking about? Listen, <laughs> listen. You want to talk about Offset, right? Listen. Yeah, all, yeah. All that came out. And guess what? Offset got mad about his wife. He made some threats, and we had somebody go tap his shoulder in Miami a couple days ago and let him know he's touchable. And he won't yeah, make another threat no, again. Nigga. I'm hey, really like that. Hey, what that gotta do? Hey, what that gotta do? You brought it up. You brought it up. All y'all rappers are going to be in prison in 2024. Just oh, mark my God. words. Because everybody's going to start... Especially Blueface. I give it June. June. First of all, they're going to tell us we got a virus coming January 19th. God, I, I think it's going to be on 19th. It's either going to be called Heineken, Tootsie Roll, or kind of Cryptolinolite. Kind of Cryptolite. You know what I'm saying? Something. I can't even believe y'all niggas still drink Coronas. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to tell you, this shit is the game of Jumanji, and I hope a lot of y'all aren't scared. Don't be scared. Y'all better learn how to play this game, because that's all we in. This is a board game Jumanji. 
Y'all better learn how to play. I'm John D. Catching a Rico, and I ain't talking about no Dominican, okay? I'm talking about y'all going to get them charges. Y'all going to be sitting down. Emotions is what kills you first, okay? So learn how to have some goddamn um, vigilance about yourself. Because y'all get on live arguing about having people pull up and threaten people and this and that. You do realize, like, the feds are watching and building cases against all of This the feds app. And I love Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is one of my first viral interviews, as you remember. I interviewed him and flew him in with it. And he's he's a great person to interview because he's going to definitely give it to you. But I don't agree with you, Soldier, that that was police shit because as Blueface was saying, the police stuff is when you're snitching to the police as it relates to street criminal activity. But if you're a man who's allegedly sleeping with my girl and you getting in my business and my relationship, I don't owe you anything. He's sleeping with all these other women. I don't understand that. I hate that logic about this Jumanji shit. Like, how is it that men can just have all these hoes, but a woman sleep with one nigga, and then it's a pro he can complain about you sleeping with one nigga, but he done had 10, 20, 30, 40 on that community deck. Oh, that, that out of everything in this world today, that pisses me off the most. Like, oh, because a lot of things I don't give a fuck about. Okay, but that right there really grinds my fucking gears. If I want to go out and cheat right now, I'm be like, "Honey, dip." <laughs> my cousin called honey dip. Listen, I feel like getting some ass right now. Uh, you gonna leave me? Let me know. Let me know. Because we, you have to tell your partner the truth. You got to be honest, and I would expect her to do the same. I always told her, if you want to go back to a man, just at least tell a bitch. Then you know, emotionally, I can deal with myself. But I need to know. You know what I'm saying? I need to be able to speak to you for you to speak to me for us to speak to each other so we can handle this business. Because stop believing that certain shit ain't happening or or don't want it to happen. Whatever the fuck. When you happy, you happy as hell. But when it's bad, it's bad as hell. That's for everybody. Okay? Now, although we are not in that place at all, I'm just saying, that's what people do. Like, that's what people should do, rather. You know what I'm saying? This shit just... I don't understand that part. I don't have to come and kill you because you slept with my girl. I can put you on social media. Why not? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <sighs> and if I've said did it, damn, it is what it is. Now, you guys try to play with Offset, though, and you took a moment putting a kissy emoji from Offset on a Nicki Minaj photo. That wasn't true. I confirmed that. And that was just you guys really being messy. Now, Krishan and Blueface went back and forth about what was going on with them. Cardi briefly reacted to the drama, and this broke a lot of people's hearts. The first thing she did was she had shared that she was leaving her husband, that she was already gone, and she seemed pretty calm. And if you know Cardi, it took a lot for her to get to this point. Take a look. It has been an eventful day. I don't pay mind to none of that. Like, I don't, I don't care about none of that. I don't want you to put me none of that. I don't know if you guys been getting clues from me from my lives or from my stories when I put some certain music or find my own followings. When it comes for today's events and stuff, I don't know if it's true. I don't think it's true. Four, four, four on the track. I don't care to find out because I, I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid to like, I'm not afraid, I just don't know how like to tell the world but I feel like today has been like a sign. The last time I got on live, I wanted to tell you guys, but I didn't know how to tell you. So I was like, I changed my mind. So we already spoke about a lot of this. And for those that didn't see it, just go back in the archives, baby. But um, I just want y'all to know, like, it's a little biased for Jason to do this because clearly he's had conversation with Cardi B um, that he clearly hasn't had with uh, Krishan. Although, um, I get what he means by him and Krishan aren't friends. This ain't a friend league. This, this bullshit that we do every day, this ain't a friend thing. And I had to learn that throughout the years, and I finally got it. This is not a friend thing. So, I mean, you ain't even friends with Cardi B for real. Um, but if he going to give somebody some loyalty, he gave it to Cardi B today. Okay? Um, so a lot of y'all was saying that, you know, he going against Krishan is kind of crazy. Him throwing Junior up under the bus is absolutely out non-Jason Lee-ish, but whatever. Um, y'all just let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. I feel like this whole situation was biased. He He's in love with Blueface, um, and he obviously 
has a good friendship or whatever ship with Cardi B. Don't care for Offset. And clearly he does not care for Krishan. Um, but I will say Krishan keep putting herself in these certain situations, c- continuously dealing with blue. So we'll just talk about that one on the next video. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below about that. Um, Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.